Hi, I'm Dan Rayner with Instron. I'm the Applications Lab Manager. At the show today, we're showing off the new 5900 model. Uh, it's our way of the future. Uh, it's a lot of new features and usability uh, and advanced features for in future improvements down the road. It works with our Blue Hill 2 software, um, which has been a, a real workhorse for the past few years and is constantly being developed and features added. The, there's also a new family of grips on the machine. This is the one kilonewton grips. We have one, two, five, and ten kilonewton capacities. A lot of it, uh, usability and, and improved repeatability of results uh, functionality has been added. So you can fit thicker specimens in. Uh, there's more area in the throat to actually get your hands in there to load your specimen. The, another important feature is that while the, there's more ability to get the bigger specimens in there, uh, there's more risk of potentially getting your fingers pinched. So we've added a lot of protective features. Uh, there's shields that go over there, specimen centering, and specimen holding devices as well. The, uh, the, the rate of grip opening can be controlled by the flow control, um, in addition to the lighter weight of many of the grips. Also new is a new family of load cells, the 2580 series, to work with the 5900 model. Uh, the electronics are new, and we hope to increase the, the load accuracy and repeatability with this. Um, we're also showing off the, the video extensometer that we've had for a number of years. Uh, it's worked really well for us, works on many different kinds of materials. Uh, in this case, you typically biomedical tubing. Um, right now, there's a rubber specimen in there. It works on metals, plastics. Uh, we have a lot of customers using it for pretty much everything. Um, another nice usability feature of the 5900 is this handset. Uh, the operator can program the, the method in the test, in the software, and then come to the machine, run all their testing, and not have to go back between the frame and the, and the software. Uh, you have some live displays, uh, soft keys that can be programmed, and in the future we hope to have results and other information there available.